Welcome to the cave. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. You definitely have an awesome name. <laughs> the <laughs> thank man you, cave man. Chronicles. I appreciate it. You're the second person that uh in the last week that uh loves the name. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited times for you. Just recently had a movie uh Escape the Field, which is available in theaters, VOD, digital. How does that make you feel so far, my friend? Yeah, it's great. You know, whenever whenever a new movie comes out, it's very exciting. You know, it's great to be able to, you know, share, you know, work, um, work that you've done. And it's really awesome to get to see how, you know, something kind of comes to fruition from script to filming to, you know, final product. It's very exciting. Good. So before we get into the movie a little bit more, I was trying to do some research, research on you and everything. Uh, I want to know, like, what made you get into the industry? What pushed you to, like, I want to get into the acting world? You know, I think I kind of just kind of slipped into it. Um, yeah, I, um, so I lived in Singapore for, for eight years. Um, and it was the, in, in Singapore, um, an NYU school uh, just opened there. And somebody somehow was looking for a kid to be in one of the short films. Um, and they hired me. And then I just became the kid for NYU student film projects. So I started <laughs> doing a bunch of them. Um, and then it kind of just progressed. You know, I started doing commercials in Singapore and then uh, you know, TV stuff. Then I, I started doing auditions uh, in the US. And then about six years ago or so, I moved to LA and it's just sort of all come along since then. Wow. Is there anybody you look up to? You kind of not like try to model yourself after like study to try to get, try to make your craft better? You know, I think there are so many uh, amazing actors. Um, I'm infatuated with Lawrence of Arabia. I love Lawrence of Arabia. So Peter O'Toole is an obviously amazing actor. So, I mean, I don't know. I think, you know, I think one of the, the great things, you know, I, I love watching movies. I mean, I watch way too many movies. Um, and, um, you know, I think what's really cool is, you know, as an actor, just sort of getting to see the performances of all these other, you know, amazing actors and just sort of what can you take away from e each one? Because I mean, really, Every single, you know, every single actor has you know, their sort, sort of own elements, but I mean, the really great ones, you know, every single character that they do also has their own unique elements. Really, I, I don't know. I, I love just sort of, yeah. That's awesome. So yeah, let's jump right into your movie, my friend. Uh, I watched it last night. I love, do you, are you a fan of the horror, like horror movies and stuff like that? Yeah, you know, I mean, I like horror movies. I just have like a horror movie tolerance level like i can't go too full like they really freak me out and i'm like jump scares like i mean really bad i mean like jaws scares me so just to kind of give you the level <laughs> of like you know uh of my tolerance for horror movies but i do like watching them and especially like when my friends are around they'll like i'll watch them with my eyes half open um but yeah <laughs> now ethan how are you uh did you originally go in for this role or was it a different role for, at first? Yeah, no, I, I went in for, uh, yeah, I went in for Ethan. Um, yeah, it was, um, it, you know, I mean, Ethan is a, um, you know, he's a high school student um, and he's, um, he has kind of an interesting background. Um, he's, you know, he was, he's kind of goes to this sort of very fancy boarding school in yeah. the East Coast. Um, but, you know, he has a very sort of difficult kind of troubled past. Um, his mother died when he was young. He has a strange relationship with his father. And, you know, I think during sort of being at, you know, his boarding school, he feels very kind of lonely and confined. And I think all of those emotions really pour out when, he, you know, when he does wake up in the field and he is, you know, he, he's by himself, he's confined by this environment. And so I think a lot of the sort of sort of traumas of his past really come out. And one of the great things about this, this movie escape the field is that it gives you those moments to explore the character and really allow the audience to you know connect uh with with the characters how did you connect with ethan and how did you like prepare to play this character yeah you know i mean um i i think it was you know i, I like trying to just do you know backstories from the characters and, and i feel like you know writing out little little stories about them and moments of mm. their life really help you know bring bring the characters alive uh, for, for, for me. And then I think like, you know, uh, like your time that you spend uh, before the movie, um, you know, just, you want to try and get as in tune with the character as possible. So then when you get on set, you know, you, you just sort of, you don't necessarily have to think about it as much. You're just sort of playing the character. That's awesome. Uh, you see, so you mentioned like, you know, like you got scared a little bit. How was it like filming this movie, you know, pretty much in a big cornfield, like a maze pretty much. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it totally was. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I got lost 
trying to get my <laughs> trying to find my way yeah. out of it. Um, um, you know, to, to get back to like, you know, uh, you know, going to lunch or something. It's like, where's Julian? Like, I mean, I have no idea where I am. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so I mean, yeah, we did. I mean, we filmed it in this huge, like, you know, multi-acre cornfield. Um, and it was, it was really, it was a crazy experience because um, I mean, one thing it was it was a single set, but you know, there were so many variables going on because you know it was outside. Uh, so it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like a, you know, generally like you know, you have a more controlled environment. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, and you know, it was cool because I mean you really did felt you really did feel like you were in. It was it was easy to be in the moment because you know I mean there were these you know eight feet tall corn uh, you know corn corn stalks um, and you know especially at night it got creepy you know there were you know there were like owls and like bugs and like you know <laughs> all the things that you would you would like yeah that would be creepy yeah I mean it was creepy. How long uh, how long did you film the movie? How long were you on set? Um, so, so we filmed it in Canada and we were there for, I think I was there for about, um, a month or so. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it was, it was, it was cool. And it really, you know, it was, it was really great because I, I'm not, I, this was my first horror movie. Um, you know, I've done, I've been eight other movies, but it was really cool because I'd never done like this genre. And so it was really fun to be able to like, you know, explore, like, you know, you know, you watch horror movies and I feel like I always kind of wonder like, you know, uh, you know, just the different elements. Cause I mean, there's so many different elements that mm. go into a horror movie to, to evoke all the emotions out of you. And it was really cool to be able to kind of, you know, go behind the scenes and really see like, you know, how do you, how do you play into these elements? How do you trigger these reactions from people? Yeah. There's certain, t- there's certain parts of the movie where I've noticed with your character also, like you could tell, like you played a well where you were scared in certain situations. Like how do you, what yeah. goes through your mind for those scenes? Um, You know, I think, for me, it was I'm in a giant cornfield, and there's like probably a bug crawling on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, working with the cast, though, like how was it connecting with like working with these uh, with the cast members? You know, yeah, yeah, Jordan, Theo, you know, just to name a few, uh, Elena, like you guys had a strong bond in there and going back and forth, you know, butting heads also. Yeah, I mean, I think the thing was, you know, it really. It, it sort of really paralleled our actual relationship, you know, I mean, mm. because it is, it's super similar. I mean, it's, you know, a group of strangers get thrown into an unknown environment together and they kind of have to survive, you know? So it was very sort of similar circumstances, um, you know, and I really, which I think really helped all of us, you know, we were all really able to sort of play into sort of the, you know, the emotions of kind of meeting new people being on set, being somewhere different. Uh, and that I think to a certain extent, you know, translated into, you know, uh, the actual story. What do you hope, like, when viewers go and see this at the theaters or they rent it on VOD, what do you hope the reaction is after watching this? Um, you know, I mean, obviously, I think, you know, I mean, it's a horror movie. So, you know, you, you want them to, you know, uh, kind of get the chills afterwards. Um, mm-hmm. But, then, you know, I, I also think, you know, there are, this movie, the, 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 there are certain moments in the movie that allow, you know, us to really explore our characters. And I think, you know, also, I think the certain psychological element to it where, you know, there is all the jump scares and stuff, but also to like kind of see like, you know, oh, um, you know, just to see like how humans sort of react in these extreme circumstances. Mm. Um, and I think, yeah, I mean, I think just sort of, I don't know. Yeah. I, I think, you know, just the horror element, but also just, you know, the, the sort of general, you know, how humans react when they're kind of in these extreme scenarios. Mm. Now what's been the feedback from like your family and close friends? Um, I think, um, so I think my, my parents have watched it. Um, I think that, um, I have one friend who really likes horror movies and so they were into it. Um, but like a lot of my friends, like they won't, they won't watch horror movies. <laughs> so you really got scared. I'm like, no, it's, it's, I'm like trying to tell them, no, you guys have to watch it. You have to watch it. And they're like, uh, and so anyway, so, I'm going to, I'm going to get, I'm going to get a group together. Maybe they'll watch it or something. Yeah. We'll see. Now what, what's your next goal? You've done the horror movie. What's next? What do you want to do? Superhero, comic, uh, oh, comedy. Well, after this movie, I, I went on to film a, a war movie. So that was one of the okay. things I'd really, I really wanted to do. It's called Bunker. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm really, ex- I, I'm excited. I, that was, that was also really cool. You know, just once again, it was a similar scenario in which, you know, how do humans react in these sort of very uh, extreme environments. That's awesome. Uh, Julian, lastly, how can the listeners and the viewers find you on social media? Uh, yeah. So um, Instagram, Twitter, Julian underscore Fetter. Um, yeah. 
Uh, Julian, thank you for coming on on press day for uh, Escape the Field. And thank yeah, you for giving me a few minutes so today.